Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Nelly and today, today we're talking about how to resolve errors in CSV file summaries slash row skipped. So if you are interested, first of all, I have made a video on how to create your own custom CSV files. So I will leave a link in the top right corner of this video and in the description. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. And as always, I will leave the article which you know this video is referencing in the description, the Coinly Help Center article. So um, important summary is showing lots of errors. First of all, this is what a typical, let's say, CSV file looks like. Um, obviously, this is just a generic one, but it has the date, the account, the operation, the coin, the change, and then any other remarks that you know you might need. So, anyways, you may see errors um, if there was a problem in your CSV Excel fi file. Usually, errors happen for the following reasons. So, your file contained a cryptocurrency symbol that Coinly does not recognize. If you are seeing this, then check uh, if the ticker symbol uh, is something like a BC, uh, BC hold and replace it with BCH in your file. So a common issue that happens is maybe you just don't think about how you're um, formatting the actual cryptocurrency symbol or the name and you know you make the, you, know, you put a wrong name and Coinly with its automated system is unable to determine which cryptocurrency you're actually talking about. So. Uh, you can also check if the cryptocurrency has a different symbol on Coinly and um, change it to Coinly symbol. As always, this is the Coinly website. Um, you can sign in here and you can check all the different types of coins and exchanges that Coinly is compatible with. But anyways, jumping back into the second pro uh, problem, your file contained a transaction that Coinly has not seen before. We don't import unknown transactions since uh, they may get... Um, imported incorrectly you should request assistance with such transactions so to request assistance in the bottom right corner of coinly anywhere on the website you can uh, ask for for help send a message we also have a contact um, link which I will leave in the description of this video and for your reference this is the link coinly.io slash contact you can message us or you can send us a, send us an email um, if you need further assistance. So requesting assistance, you can request assistance for any file import uh, where you would like more information or are unsure on how to resolve this problem. Simply uh, click the request assistance button on the import summaries page and describe the issue. We will do our best to respond to you in a timely manner. Uh, you can follow up on the issue by contacting our live chat. So that's what I talked about earlier. Okay, another thing we can talk about is import summary shows lots of skip rows. Skip rows are a common issue that we see uh, on Coinly. So some rows in Coinly may get skipped if they are not needed. These are the most common reasons for skipping rows. The row is a internal transfer that doesn't need to be imported. So we talked about transferring between wallets you own um, and why that doesn't need to be imported. The row contains a zero amount. The row is blank. The row contains a canceled or failed transaction. The row contains some transaction that we have deemed unnecessary. So, like I said earlier, um, you know, example of this internal transfer for a staking uh, wallet. Another thing we can discuss is very few imported transactions compared to the total rows in a uh, file. So, Coinly groups certain rows into the same transaction, which can result in a lot less transactions being created from your file. So, here are some examples. If your file contains a trade spread on multiple rows, Coinly will create a single transaction for these and think about how many different transactions you potentially have for my wallet, which is, a, I would say, a beginner wallet. I have hundreds of trades already. Um, if your file contains both order and trade IDs, then Coinly will group multiple trades for the same into the same transaction. If your file contains a lot of futures, future transactions, realized profit or loss, then Coinly will group these into a single transaction for each day. So I don't know how many people are actually doing a lot of futures trading, but if you are, that's also something to keep in mind. All right, lastly, the number of imported transactions is much higher than the number of rows in the file. So Coinly creates up to three transactions for swap services um, like Changely or Cefolo, um, etc. One deposit, one trade, and then one withdrawal. This allows Coinly Coinly's transfer matching engine to work seamlessly uh, with such transactions. So an example of this, we can talk about a trade of one BTC for five Ethereum. So you are sending one BTC to Changely. That is considered a deposit. Changely is then converting that BTC to five Ethereum. That is a trade. 
and then Changely is lastly sending that 5 Ethereum back to your wallet, which is a withdrawal. And there are also other cases where you may see more transactions. So example, if fees are being paid in multiple currencies for a trade, Coinly will add one of the fees to the trade itself and the other fee will be added to the uh, as, as a separate transaction. So if you are importing a file with your margin borrowing history, if this file also contains the repayment dates and the interest paid, you will see three transactions being created for each row. And that's pretty much it that summarizes this um, topic, this help article. If you have any questions, as always, leave them down below. I will also leave a link to our forums where you can chat with our support team and with other users and potentially resolve some of your issues. If you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more, and I'll see you next time. Peace.